President Trump scores mammoth victory in court. Illegal voters just got burned by Gary Mayer for USA Politics Today. Voter fraud is a serious problem in the United States. While the left has fought tooth and nail to downplay the problem, they only do so because it's self-serving because they're the ones engaging in illicit voting practices. We've been told time and again over the years that there's no problem and that requiring voter IDs or stricter oversight is nothing but a stealth attempt by Republicans to discriminate against poor minority voters that would supposedly be affected by such policies. However, after Trump's victory, Liberals suddenly saw voter fraud everywhere. Trump only could, could have won with the help of the Russians or vote rigging in swing states, according to many liberals. But instead of being content with the victory, Trump called their bluff, opting to form a commission to look into the claims of voter fraud during the presidential election. As, as reported at Fox News, a federal judge on Monday opened the door for President Donald Trump's commission on election fraud to resume collecting detailed voter roll information from the states. Last month, the commission solicited states for publicly available data, including registered voters, names, birth dates, and partial social security numbers. However, a judge put a hold on their plans, forcing the commission to hold off until a related lawsuit filed by the Electronic Privacy Information Center in Washington was settled. Now, U.S. District Court Judge Colleen Collar Cotley has denied the advocacy group's request to block the data collecting in a ruling that commission uh, Vice Chairman Chris Kobach called a major victory for government accountability, transparency, and the public's right to know what about the integrity of our elections process. The commission requested this publicly avail available data as part of its fact-gathering process, which is information that states regularly released to political candidates, political parties, and the general public, said Kobach, the uh, Republican Secretary of State in Kansas. We look forward to continuing to work with state election leaders to gather information and identify opportunities to improve election integrity. The judge ruled that the Collection Commission is not an agency, therefore not subject to such assessments. Furthermore, she also found the group failed to show that its members would be harmed by the data collection. So uh, uh, I'm glad that this is taking place because that's why they want the illegals to be voting. And they don't want uh, IDs because they send them out to vote in different states. Good for that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.